Okay, I live in Arizona and uh, this is the second scorpion I was able to catch. A little scary, this one was in the bathtub this evening. So, a uh, little scorpion and something that's kind of neat with scorpions and one of the reasons why I'm showing it on my gear site is uh, I like to buy these UV lights and I found this one from a place in China that is uh, pretty cheap. I think it was well, I actually forgot the price now, but I'll have to double check. But it was definitely under $30. It might even have been about $15. And it's one big UV LED. The reason I like them is for this little guy. If you can see him walking around in there. And uh, this may not look too effective on film, but wait till I turn these lights off now. So that's definitely a little live scorpion in there. He's probably about the size of a quarter when he curls up. Maybe a little smaller than that. Not the biggest one, but it's actually the small scorpions that are the trouble. So I'm still pointing the camera in the same direction, and now I'm turning on that UV light. And I don't know how, how that's working on the film, but I'll tell you what, that guy is glowing in there. He is like a white ghost in there. This UV light reacts with their skin or with their shell somehow and really shows them up. Try it this way. So if this guy was out in the, in the backyard or something, I would see him like a white, like infrared night vision or something. You can see him in there crawling around. Now I'm gonna film this again with the other camera that's broken, try to do it on a little close up. Anyhow, that's the uh, scorpion that we just found in the bathtub this evening. Another view of my ultralight, ultraviolet flashlight and little scorpion I found this evening, climbing around in that jar, and then some string that's uh, actual string. It's 550 cord um, in a emergency orange color, and I'm gonna go ahead again and. Uh, turn off the lights and now with just the UV light you can see that little scorpion lighting up in there dancing all around and I don't know how dramatic it is on the camera but this cord looks like neon a reflection of the cord on the ground there you can see a reflection of it in the jar it's reflecting on my fingers it's almost as if the cord is its own light source. Same with that little scorpion in that jar. Okay, we're taking a look at a scorpion that we found in the bathtub this evening. And I'm trying it with this broken camera. I'm not sure if it's getting a good view of this or not. That might be about the best I could hope for. And I've got him under this UV, an ultraviolet flashlight. And it's really spectacular how well he, sh he shows up when that UV light. He just glows under that light. And I tell you, he just seems to really not like it because he's moving all around. When I had the daylight on, or maybe it's just because he's in the dark. Well, for whatever reason, he's really active right now. I'm sure he doesn't like being in a little jar, but I don't like getting stung by scorpions, so I think I'm going to win this argument. So I'm going to turn the lights back on. and he's still shining a little bit green or yellow in there I don't think he likes the light because now with the lights on he's um well maybe it's just the with the lights back on he's back to being acting dead so now he acts like he's dead in there he won't move or nothing he'll just roll around in the jar and I'm going to turn off the UV light now now you get an idea of what he looks like in natural light and then, of course, I'm going to turn off these lights. And you can't see anything because it's dark out. And now I'm going to turn back on that UV light. Maybe it's just because it's dark. He wants to, he figures he can get out in the shadows or something. But his little feet are running around in there and he's not having a good day. But then again, I don't know what made him think he should hang out in my bathtub. So, crazy scorpion and a UV flashlight used to uh, identify these little buggers out in the desert at night. Yeah, I've got
got the uh, scorpion again. He's in this little jar. Kind of scary having the lid off, but I figured I wanted to get a better shot for the camera. And talk about scary. I'm going to go ahead and use this UV light, this ultraviolet light, to illuminate the little guy, the little poisonous guy in there. And I'm going to turn off the light, and that's going to make him go nuts because he's going to think he can get away. And then I'm going to quickly come down and grab this light, and let's see what he does in there. I don't know if it's is more impressive this way, but he's sort of a green or a yellow color almost. He's almost glowing in there. I'm going to go ahead and put this little cord over here to show, and again, I don't know how well that's going to come through on film, but the UV light, the ultraviolet light, hits that uh, orange 550 cord and just almost makes it glow like neon. And it's doing a similar effect to that little scorpion in there. So he's trying desperately to get out. And I'm shining the light at him, so it's not really helping him much. But hopefully this comes across on the video. And we'll see when we take a closer look at it on the computer. So there again is another view of the little uh, scorpion stuck in his jar. He's super pissed because he's in a little jar <laughs> and I'm shining this UV light at him, this ultraviolet light at him and uh, he don't like it. So here's the flashlight that I'm using to piss off that scorpion and there's the scorpion in the jar. So highly recommend getting a ultraviolet flashlight. Um, you can see just how effective it is on these little guys if you're out in the desert and you want to find these guys just because you're curious about them or you're trying to stay away from them. Definitely worth the investment in an ultraviolet flashlight.